Good afternoon, everyone. How is everyone doing? Hopefully everyone's doing well. Uh, so I'm Amy from Amy's Acrylic Artistry. Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, whether you're a new viewer or an old viewer, thank you. I definitely appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe and give me the thumbs up. Um, so today I'm doing, I did this piece yesterday. Um, my paints were way too thin and it looked great wet. Um, but as it dried, they kind of mixed a little bit together and um, they have muted. Plus I used a little bit of Floetrol. Floetrol tends to make your paints uh, a little bit dull, but I know that once it was, once it would be varnished, it shouldn't look too bad. However, these ones were way too thin. So I'm re-pouring the exact, exact same uh, colors. So this is a 12 by 16 canvas. So yeah, not a big one. This is my uh, Deco Art Americana in metallic cobalt blue. This is Art Mines Gold. And this is my Berry Delicious, which is two parts violet and one part gold and mixed together. So my paints are thinned with water only today, just a little bit, enough to get it so that they're thicker than they were yesterday. I've been doing a lot of Dutch pours and a lot of blowouts, so definitely needing thinner paints. However, decided I wanted to do a ring pour because it had been a while. So we're going to try this again. I did a double ring, but I think we're just going to stick with a single ring today. And I just have my regular white, which is mostly my art, um, as my full extender. I am not going to pour a little puddle, I'm going to just pour right on here. All right, so that's pretty much it. A little bit of white has popped through in some spots. Um, that Art Mines Gold likes to come to the top and it has brought the white with it. So there's some spots over here, and there's some spots in here, but that's okay. It's unique. All right, time for a close up. I do have my overhead light on, but you can see the sparklies in there, which is awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing how this one dries. Oh, out of focus. I'm sorry. There we go. Hopefully, with there just being water mixed with the paints, that they dry a little bit darker. So this. We'll see what happens. 
lot of air bubbles in this. I think because I have the paint so thick, maybe a little bit too thick, um, that as I poured, I'm guessing those air bubbles showed up. But you know what? It makes the piece unique. And I like unique. So if you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button. I am working my way to 100 and I am almost there. Almost. So take care everybody. Have a great day. Have a great week. And be safe.